Hey Matsu, do you know what day it is? It's your meal prep day. Are you ready to start building your balanced raw meals for this week? All right, let's get to it. So here's my meal prep station. I've got it set up with my cutting board and knife for cutting meats to the appropriate size, my scale for weighing out each meat, my prep containers, which will hold a day's worth of food for Matsu, and of course, the meats. I'll be doing a seven day prep this week. I usually create his balanced recipe after shopping because I don't always know what I'm gonna find, so I did that right before I started filming. Many raw food meal prep videos don't go over balancing the meals, so I am going to emphasize this in the video. So, let's start building these meals. Along the way, I'll explain each ingredient and why I'm adding it in. But before I start, I'm going to set out each container so I can easily drop in each meat. The way I used to prep was filling one container at a time, but I quickly learned that prepping this way took me a lot longer than it should. So now I weigh out each meat like I'm doing here and fill all the containers as I go. I always start meal prep with the meaty bones, and for this recipe, I'm using chicken wings. I really like using wings because they're super easy to separate at the joints if I need to reduce the weight a bit, like this one here. This would be too high in bone if I fed the entire wing, so I'm removing the drumette and saving that for another time. I think someone's subtly rushing me. Ahem, anyway, the next meat I'll be adding is the secreting organ meat, liver. For this recipe, I'm using veal liver. I usually feed beef, goat, or lamb liver because they're a lot higher in copper than poultry liver, but I saw veal liver in the freezer section of my grocery store and I had to try it. Matsu actually loves eating liver, so no matter what animal it came from, it will be one of the first meats he eats. Next, I'm going to add a second secreting organ meat, and for this recipe, I'm using pork kidney. In my experience, pork kidney is a lot easier to handle than beef kidney. Beef kidney is huge and has a lot of organ fat, or suet, in the center, so I'm happy I don't have to deal with that this prep. It was actually a bit of a struggle to get Matsu and Tangy to like kidney when they were younger. I think it's because it has a pretty strong smell to it. It's also slimy and jiggly. Now I'm going to add in at least one muscular organ. For this prep, it's chicken hearts. Muscular organs are different from secreting organs, at least when it comes to the roles they play nutritionally in the raw diet. I always like to add in at least one muscular organ like heart, grain tripe, or lungs. Now onto the bulk of the meal's protein and fat, muscle meats. And I'll be adding three to this recipe. First up is pork chops. Many pork cuts have fat on them, but I rarely ever trim it off. Fat is the canine's main energy source, so it's essential in the diet. I usually always include pork in my pet's meals because of how nutrient dense it is. It's one of Matsu, Tangy, and Choji's favorite proteins as well. The next muscle meat on this menu is chicken thigh. Wait, did I seriously forget to add this when making this recipe? I totally did. Okay, one second. All right, I'm back after tweaking the recipe a bit. Thigh meat is darker and has a bit more fat on it than breast meat, so it will be higher in essential minerals. Because of this, I usually only buy thigh meat unless I need to feed a leaner cut. Now onto the next muscle meat, ground beef. This is 85% meat and 15% fat, so this recipe has a lot of fatty meats included this week, but that's okay. I'll feed leaner meats next week so he won't have to eat a high-fat diet long term. Either way though, his caloric intake will be the same. Matsu loves all ground meats, so I really can't go wrong with ground beef no matter what fat content it has. All right, now this is a great base and loaded with nutrients, but there are still six nutrients that are actually still low. So let's take a look at what I need to balance this recipe. First is ground salmon for omega-3s and vitamin D. Salmon and mackerel are what I usually rotate with because of their vitamin D content. Oh, hi Tangy. Are you here for a snack? Anyway, next I'm feeding blue mussels which provide manganese. Mussels are not Matsu's favorite manganese source. He would rather something like green tripe, but I'm out, so sorry Matsu. All right, Tangy, this is Matsu's meal prep. Fine, you can have a little ground beef. Here, Matsu, you can have a little snack too. All right, 
Now, there are still three nutrients that are low in this meal, but I usually add these additions at mealtime because some of them don't do well being exposed to air. As for all of these leftover meats, I'll be saving them for my cat and ferrets prep or just freeze them for another matsu prep. Hey matsu, it's dinner time, are you ready? Now I'm gonna add in the final additions. First up is vitamin E oil for vitamin E, then a tiny bit of zinc picolinate because zinc is still slightly low in this recipe, and then kelp for iodine, which he also just needs the tiniest bit of because of how concentrated in iodine it is. And for another addition, I'm adding a splash of kefir for some probiotics. Now let's see if Matsu likes this recipe. If you're wondering how to make a balanced meal like this, I do have a free cheat sheet on our website that goes over everything that I'm feeding in this video, as well as the nutrients dogs need in their diet. This will be a great tool to reference when meal prepping yourself. The link will be in the description.